Looks like you have it here, I've got it. Excuse me. Okay. I love this game. <clears throat> Being a Thunder Force fan, this is absolutely up my alley. <laughs> One of my favorite games. Yeah, it was very overlooked, but there's so many good games on it. I mean, it is primarily shoot 'em up based, um, but there are some really good RPGs, really good platformers. Um, there's quite a lot on the PC Engine, and there's something for everybody, so it's definitely worth exploring if you haven't had a chance to have a look at it. Um, I mean, the games that I've been playing tonight are like some of the top tier. Um, well, besides Image Fight 2, but some of the best games that you can actually play on the PC Engine. Uh, these are PC Engine CD games as well, though. There's like the entire Hookart library as well, which has quite a lot of good stuff in it. Like a ton of good stuff in it. Yeah, exactly, Gundam. But yes, this is Gate of Thunder, and you'll probably see some similarities to another game that I actually have a very, very big love for. Yeah, PC Engine was not really available in the UK at all. Shit, hang on. Let me restart that because that was bad. I fucking just died immediately. Yeah, PC Engine was not available in the UK, unfortunately, so it's um, quite rare to find one over here. It's imported a lot, though. It's imported a lot, but, uh, yeah. Okay, let me try that again. <clears throat> yeah, we had computers like the Amiga and the Atari ST, and the Amiga had some really good stuff as well. I need the um, blue shot. Actually, I've forgotten how you actually swap. Oh, there's speed up. Okay, right. Oh, double tap. Okay. 
No, 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 you did that one. Right, okay, good. So you double tap tap, you fire them backwards. Go on. Oh, weapon switch. Okay, cool. So yeah, this looks very much like Thunder Force, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> But I love this game though, it's like really, really well crafted. Um, even more so compared to its sequel, Lords of Thunder, which a lot more people are aware of because it was actually released over outside of Japan. There's Winds of Thunder. It's interesting that the sequel got a release outside of Japan, but the actual original version didn't. And like Thunder Force, it's a very tactical game. You need to know what weapons to use at each point. Um, and actually, we haven't really played this that much, even though I really like it. It's kind of criminal that I don't really give it as much time as I should. This is essentially Thunder Force 3 Saber. There we go. Uh, Next stage, Asteroid. I should probably turn the speed up back here. Anyway. I mean, one of the main reasons why I like this so much is because it's so very arcadey compared to a lot of the other PC Engine games. Well, you can actually see where Thunder Force got quite a lot of its inspiration from in this. So when you once you max out your weapons, you can actually screen wipe by picking up surface. I mean, the only thing I don't like about this game is the fact that you have to double tap to turn your shot around. I mean, you get used to it, of course, but uh, I think I like it when movement actually determines the direction your options fire in.
Oh shit. A little bit of a hard drive twitch. Ah. Be careful now because I need a shield soon. Good shield, nice. Full follow. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Kind of have to be careful though, because I don't want to lose my primary weapon. Eight KCV. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> You bitch! That was unexpected. That's bad though. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's a nice thing about Schmooks though, is when you actually do hit that zone. is like one of the strongest actually. Whoa! <laughs> that was dirty. Right. Killed. Nice. Just need another red, uh, another blue actually and then I've got my weapons back. I'm really the saber I need back though. And now pins ring on base. Blue, nice, look at that. And that was Saber.
some jets. Mostly chucking all this shit at me now. <laughs> I'm starting to mix it up now by chucking stuff, a lot of stuff from the back. Oh, a shield. There's one. Most part, you generally don't need to worry too much about stuff that comes from behind in this. Not unless it gets really hairy later on and it just jams stuff everywhere on screen. Motion. Of course, there'd be something coming from behind. Fuck shit. Oh no, I've lost the green weapon. Damn it. Gotta be careful I don't use the red weapon now. No, the yellow weapon rather. The blue weapon. Derp. Right. I don't even have any options so I can't kill anything behind me. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's the weak point. Oh, it's underneath. Ha 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 ha. I don't remember this stage at all. Giant fucking sandworms. Do the power of the
At the moment, I'm just relying on my homing missiles to kill stuff behind me. I'm trying not to lose the saber weapon. Okay. Options back, at least. Son of a bitch, okay, right. Dying is costly in this because you lose your current weapon and your options and your missiles. Oh, I remember this stage now. This is where I came over the last time I played this. Because you can use the options to kill those from behind as well. Weaponry at the moment. I'd like the wide shot here, preferably. Music is fairly low in this. It is pretty good though. Ah, See the rank has dropped as well though. Stay clear. <sighs> That's an air raid stage. Shit. Stupid. Oh my god. This is where things get really nasty, <laughs> as you can see. Holy shit. I'm gonna need that shield. Drive, stop scanning, please.
Uh, 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 uh. Help! <laughs> Shit. Oh, balls. Okay. The power ups are required right now. I've got the other back. Ah! Okay. Uh. Yeah. Game over. Ah. <laughs> uh. Good try, though. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I think that was my previous score.